This is Deborah Atkinson, and you're listening to Flipping 50, where I address your top questions and things you struggle with most so you can have more energy and less decision fatigue about what to eat, how to move, and you can change your thoughts to Flip 50 with the life and the energy you love in this second half. And that is what today is all about. We are at episode three in our 10 easy steps to more energy in our Flipping 50 summer series with mind rewire expert, Christy Mattoon. And today we are talking a little bit more about how to say yes to affirmations. Christy, how do we do it? Yes. So affirmations are really kind of fun and they're interesting and you hear different sides of the story all the time. Um, that, you know, people have used affirmations for centuries. And a lot of people come in my door telling me I say affirmations all the time. And it's like they fall on deaf ears. It never goes anywhere. Why is that? So we're going to take a look real quick at what is a good affirmation and how it can actually help increase your energy when you when you hit it on the mark. So affirmations basically in your system serve as a reminder, right? That's why they had them writing us or had us writing them on uh, post-it notes and sticking them everywhere. Right. It serves as a reminder of who you are, who you want to be. Um, And the affirmation itself, depending on what it is you're looking for in your life, is going to be radically different from person to person. If you've ever heard of Louise Hay, she has this amazing little book out called Heal Your Body. And it's for uh, illnesses, physical illnesses and all kinds of kinds of things. But what she did was she went through all these physical illnesses and she told you why she thought they were happening. And then the next box over is all these affirmations as to what will help that specific issue. So if you're not the person that was walking around doing affirmations for years, you can go straight to her book, look up an issue you're having in your body and use the affirmation she has written. Right? Because what we're doing at the end of the day is trying to change your change your body, change your chemistry enough so that you start to feel better and have that good energy all the time. So a good affirmation in my head should be short, simple, and to the point. All right, so, but what does that mean? It, when you have a short, simple, to the point affirmation, what's going to happen is it's going to make you stop, be able to say it, and hold on to it. A lot of times our affirmations get way too long and wordy. I, I had some that were on big sheets of paper that was like, you know, all these great words, but I never reset it. I never redid it. So it definitely was falling on deaf ears. And when you're saying your information, you want to say it and be able to say it quickly with so much impact that you can feel it inside your body. So now we're not just saying words and saying something that we want. We're actually trying to find the feeling of it inside the body. So my affirmation that I've used for years has always been the same. It's never really changed. And it's three simple words. I am strong. My affirmation started out when I was working out in a gym and I was literally meaning physical strength. I just wanted my body to be strong. And over time, it actually started changing. It started out in that physical realm. I was tired of being sick. I was tired of being weak. I was tired of being in pain. I wanted to feel strong. I literally wanted to build muscle mass and I wanted to feel better. Over time, it turned into mental strength. As I was working out and gaining strength, it started taking a lot of mental fortitude to get through some of these workouts. That translated into my life, getting through some of the day-to-day drudgery and moving forward and being able to keep doing what I was doing. That mental strength all of a sudden became a really positive aspect of my life. And I wanted the strength to be able to think clearly, to be able to know what I wanted, to be able to speak my truth. We hear that one all the time, to be able to say what it is you need and mean what you say, and to be able to get my needs effectively met, right? And it turned out that that mental strength was myself being able to meet my own needs. From there, it actually morphed into a spiritual strength. And as I pursued authority in my own life, it became more and a more, or I became more and a more aware of what was happening to me and around me. And what happened was it was like God just swooped in and showed me even more strength, more than I knew or that I ever even knew I could have. It was mind boggling to me, the things that I started understanding and gaining. So in my pursuit of this strength and saying that affirmation over and over, it was a repetitive thing. I made it 
part of my body and part of my system. The changes not only showed up inside myself and shocked me, it showed up in my life and in my, um, my environment, and it shocked people around me. So the phrase for me never changed, like I said, but for you, sometimes you might need to add, you know, a word or two. It might, you know, change it to whatever you need to write your, your phrase the way you need it. And then I literally take it and I put that, that phrase into a whole brain state. So before it was the repetition, saying that thing over and over and over and over, eventually that's going to get into your cells and lock into you on a deeper level. If you take it and put it into the whole brain state and you can reference um, one of the other podcasts we did uh, recently that was called Retrain Your Brain, you'll see exactly how to do that whole brain state. So remember what you need to do is you need to keep it simple, define it well. By define it well, I mean set your intention. So for me, I am strong not only meant physical, it also meant emotional, and then it meant spiritual. It was about me taking authority inside of my own life. So the three simple words had a lot of intention behind them. And then when you say your words, you're going to feel it. You want to feel the feeling that it brings up inside your system. Right. Know it inside your spirit. Know it inside, not just your body. You want to know this feeling so well that it just becomes a part of you. Putting it in the whole brain state is going to seed it into your subconscious mind. Right. So here's the deal. You're going to repeat it. You're going to remind yourself. You're going to put it in a whole brain state. And then you're going to step out into your day and notice how you feel different. You're going to go test it. Go see in your life where you see a difference from your affirmation. It'll be a great way for you to move forward. What you're going to find inside your body is that you're getting new chemicals. Instead of staying in the lower range of chemicals, every time you feel this statement inside your system, you're going to get a shot of oxytocin, serotonin, and dopamine, and the kind of chemicals that make you feel good and more expansive. So your homework is to go do this daily. Find a statement, something that you really want seated into your life. Put a great intention behind it. Put it into a whole brain state. And then sit there long enough that you can really start to feel it and then start walking it out in your life. Love it. I love it. Okay. So definitely we have homework. And here's, here's what came to my mind while I was listening to you. So easy ways that you suggested, Christy, potentially adding a word here or there, adding two words. So I am strong might become I am strong right now or I am strong enough. And um, so play with what it is that you want to be and and imagine back to the superpower. So you can go back to episode one if you haven't had it and you're jumping in right now on episode three, I'm going to link to episode one and episode two in the show notes. So if you've got a question, certainly add that, but definitely add your affirmation, share it with somebody, inspire somebody else below the show notes at flipping50.com forward slash summer energy series and share this with a friend. And can I add, can I so add that you, that on that for yeah, seconds? Please. When you said um, right now, so if you add something like that, that's an amazing thing to do. If you've got something going on in the moment, right? Something's come up, maybe it's a court date, maybe you had a car accident. And in that moment, you need strength. Give yourself two, two minutes, put yourself in a whole brain state, state real fast and just say, I am strong right now. Feel it inside your system. It's going to boost you in that moment into a different chemical um, construction and a different way of feeling yourself through that moment. That was good. Awesome. All right. Great feedback. So you have your homework. Go add your questions and comments below the show notes and or check for the links to the first and the second podcast in this series at flipping50.com forward slash summer energy series. And tomorrow, tune in because we're talking about some things that may be hidden and how you can stop them from sucking your energy, what habits you need to stop. And we'll be back tomorrow with Christy.